Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name is Louise and today I have got a jam-packed day for you guys. Today I am in Toronto with Christy and Patsy, which you'll see in a second. I stayed over last night. We had a huge catch-up. We were up to like 2 a.m. singing Spice Girls. We absolutely <laughs> loved it. And today we have got so much planned. I'm just going to take you with us. They've planned the whole day. I have no idea what's going on. Um, all I know is that we're going to Netflix house first, then some sort of miracle thing, and then we're going to go to the Eaton Center for some Christmas shopping so I'm gonna take you guys along with this I wasn't gonna vlog but you know what I thought you guys would enjoy it so let's go um, to the Netflix house they haven't been in the vlog yet you'll see those in a second So here is my hot chocolate, I got some donuts as well. Oh, we're so excited. So good and it was free as well so if you're in I think it'll be gone by the time I upload this but it was so cool Toronto there's always an event going on which is amazing so we've come shopping in the Eastern Center and now we're in my favorite store Lush and you get to make your own bath bomb so Christy and Patsy are going to take you over the channel yeah the fragrance and whatnot so everything oh is so yeah, oh, oh my god that's, so that's cool. actually oh. sick that's, that's so, so cool yeah, yeah. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yeah. It smells like zesty over here. <laughs> You know, big vanilla cupcakes, but if you turn them blue or a different color, you're like, why is it tasting? Yeah. It's just, yeah. It's just really nice. so Weird. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to make it nice and fluffy. There Looks so neat. So a nice little mountain for you. And then when you press it together, you'll have one side stationary and the other side you just twist down and down. So make sure that they're even. Yeah. And you made your own back off. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I have purchased one and then the one I made I got for free, which is so cool. And I've actually never met anyone that's on the sticker, which is so cool. And also I just seen my favourite bath bomb, Lord of Miss Raw, is now in a candle. Um, they're permanent now. Yeah. Best news ever. So anyway, so now we're going to continue shopping, but I'm excited to do my bath bomb tonight. Okay, so we just stopped in the eatery for some food, and I went with the Chinese, and I got pineapple chicken and general tao and noodles. Okay, so it is the next day. Um, I had such a good time in Toronto with Christy and Patsy. I always forget to vlog when I'm with them because we literally just spend hours just catching up, like sitting down, chatting, talking about so much. Um, and yeah, so I came home that evening and I couldn't use my Lush bath bomb because when I was making it, she said you have to let it set for 24 hours. So it's now gonna be set. So I've just finished the Ice Ghost game. If you didn't know, I'm a cheerleader for the local ice hockey game ice hockey team and we won tonight which was so good it was such a good atmosphere 
if you guys are ever around Niagara Falls, come watch a game. It's so good, um, especially when they win. But tonight I'm gonna have a bubble bath. I'm gonna use the bath bomb I actually made. But first I am going to put in some Radox. If you're moving to Canada, if you're from England and moving to Canada and you like Radox or any sort of bubble bath, make sure you bring it with you. My family send it to me like once every three months, like one of these, because I love them, like the muscle soak and all of those. And they're like a pound in Asda. They don't have bubble bath over here. Well, I say they don't, they do. They have the Mr. Matey one, that smells like bubble gum for kids. They have loads of kids bubble bath, but they all smell like bubble gum. And then they have one that I found in Walmart, which is bubble bath, but it's lavender and Jake's allergic to lavender. So they have nothing like this muscle soak or anything like that. So make sure, oh, make sure you guys stock up on it when you get it. So I'm just gonna have my bubble bath and I wanna show you um, my bath bomb. So let me get it out. Okay, let's see if it has worked. So. I also got a Christmas one and I completely forgot to vlog it, but I actually had it last night. It was like an expensive one, it was like a $9 one. And it was a Christmas pudding and it was huge and it was so good. But anyway, I'm scared to open this. Shut the front door. Oh wow, it actually worked. I thought it was gonna collapse. Oh my God. This is so exciting. Oh my God. This is so cool. The yellow and the blue looks like it worked better than the pink and the purple. But this is the bath bomb that I made. How cool. Okay, let's put it in the water. Let's put it in the water. Let's see what happens. Yay. Oh my God, it actually looks so good. Oh my God, I'm so happy with that. Look at that. I'm now gonna finish running my bubble bath. So um, we're gonna skip forward now um, to me and Jake going to Buffalo. I thought I'll chuck it in here as this is quite a short vlog. I hope you enjoyed me going to Toronto. But yeah, me and Jake popped to Buffalo the other day to do some shopping and some grocery shopping. So let's insert that. Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, then a very big hello. My name is Louise and today we have got a big adventure planned. Um, I randomly just took a vacation day at work because Jake was off today and work's been super slow. So um, I was like, do you know what? I'm gonna be off with Jake and let's go on an adventure. So Jake went over to Buffalo the other day to watch the wrestling. Um, it's a bit like when we go over the border, it takes you to like New York, um, Niagara Falls and we go shopping there all the time if you watch my videos you will know but we never go over to Buffalo and he said there was this huge mall there so even though we don't have much money we thought we can go for a little wander have a little look apparently there's a bigger target there and guess what they have M&S and Target now so I want to go check out the M&S stuff and yeah it's just going to be a big adventure vlog and then tonight we're going out to Chuck's with our friends and we're also meeting two other British people which we've never met before which is really exciting um, we absolutely love Chuck's. If you go to a Chuck's Roadhouse after 9 p.m., then it's half price starters. So you can get these like huge nachos for like four dollars. So highly recommend. But yeah, we're off out now. We took kind of a slow morning. We both had showers. We, I caught up on some Love Island Australia, which I'm addicted to at the minute. Um, I'm just looking at my pumpkins. We really need to get rid of our pumpkins. Anyway, let's go to America. Let's go to Buffalo. Okay, so we are in, well, we actually crossed over at the Lewiston Bridge because um, it's just a quicker bridge. So there's the New York sign. Um, you, there is actually a bridge that goes straight into Buffalo, but we always pick this one because it's always less quiet. So now we are 20 minutes away from our Target stop. Well, like I said, we're stopping off at Target first to go check out the M&S stuff. And then we're gonna go head on down to uh, Buffalo, the mall. What's the mall called? Uh, I think it's the Walden Gallery. Walden Gallery. Ah, Jake hasn't been in a few vlogs in a while. I think you've like not been in the last three. Just keep editing me out. No, it's because you're never in them, and everyone always says like, "Where's Jake? Say hi." Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's in this one today. We're out together, but um, 
yeah, I'll speak to you in 20 minutes. So we're in Buffalo. Are we in Buffalo? I think so. Uh, Amherst. Yeah. And those are Tim Hortons, but Tim Hortons in America is called the Cafe and Bake Shop. It's not just called Tim Hortons, it's Tim Hortons Cafe and Bake Shop. And they also sell biscuits, because obviously biscuits in uh, America are absolutely huge. Anyway, we're gonna quickly stop at a Starbucks because I'm really hungry, I feel sick that I'm that hungry. So we're just gonna pop in here to get a quick snack and then we're going across there to Toronto, uh, to Target. Oh God, Jake's found the New York mug. We actually have a New York mug, but this is New York State. We, New York City. we don't need it today. No way. Oh, they got the Christmas mug cups. They're cool. Okay, so Jake got a biscuit. Muffin. muffin, sorry. With sausage and cheese. And then I just got a, a grilled cheese. <laughs> Doesn't look the best, but it'll do for me now. Okay, so we're at this big Target that I've never been to before. It is actually huge. So I'm so excited. How cool are all of the Buffalo Bill stuff? <laughs> Okay, so I'm down the candy aisle for Christmas and Jake has picked up some Kit Kat gingerbreads. Show them, Jake. I'll try them on the vlog for you. Is that normal Twix? I think so, yeah. Oh, I thought it was like mint Twix. This is Galaxy. Dove is Galaxy. But I bet it tastes horrible here. Yeah. No, I think it tastes the same. No, it doesn't, because they're not it doesn't taste the same. Guys, look at the M&S in Target. It's literally just chocolate or chocolate, everything else is sold out. And it's $14.99 and $27.99. US dollars, not Canadian, US. E expensive. Guys, the flavor of Canada Dry I've never tried before and also there's a Pepsi mango. That sounds interesting and then Pepsi cherry too. Oh my God, jalapeno and cream cheese wontons. Jake would absolutely love those. And babe, beef and jalapeno. Oh, no, oh that actually sounds so good right now. Okay. So we've just come out of Target, and don't hate me for this, but I actually think I prefer American Walmart than American Target. Jake, what do you think? I feel like there's too much hype to Target that's... Yeah, there's like a huge hype, and it's so expensive. It's actually a lot more expensive than you I, think. I don't get what's in there that's not... It, okay, no, you're a guy. The Tome stuff is so nice in there, but it's so expensive. Like, you could literally get the same thing in Ikea for like half the price. Yeah, it's like overpriced. Like, in my head, I'm like, oh my god, that's like $14.99. But then when you like transfer it to Canadian dollars, like $20 for like a plate? No, I can't. I can't justify that. We were just saying like how crazy, like these are nothing compared to around that corner. But the snow piles in Buffalo are so much bigger than what we've had. And the fact that they're still here, like ours have melted now for the last few days. So they must have got snow so bad here. So we're currently just one minute away. We had to take a detour as there was a, a little incident, not little, quite a big one in front of us. Um, but yeah, the mall looks absolutely huge. Like, really big. It's got a Lego store. Jake's happy that it's got a Lego store. I can see the cheese fake cake factory from here. I've seen Chick-fil-A. And oh my God, like, it's just got all my favorite American food places. I've actually never been to Cheesecake Factory, but everyone raves about it. But not on this trip, but maybe another trip. Uh, they have a Texas barbecue. They have a Dave and Buster's. They have everything. Oh my God. Oh, I'm excited. The snow piles here. Oh my God, how do they still have snow piles? It snowed like two weeks ago. They have Macy's. Okay. I want to proper explore Macy's. I'm going to do So this is the Gal Galleria Mall. Walden Galleria, I think it's called. Oh my God, Jake. We'll have to chase the ch try the Cheesecake Factory one day. Oh my god, really? Okay, so the mall is big inside. I was just saying to Jake how it's like a lot of brands that I don't recognize, like loads of random stores. Like obviously there's the typical normal stores, but there's also such random stores in here. Like it's a good mall, but it's not like amazing, if you get what I mean. It is it's not amazing. It's not my favorite mall that I've been to. I don't know. But it's not this. Oh my God, Jake's been telling me that there's a Primark going close to home and I thought he was lying, but it's actually going here. Okay, I changed my mind. This might be the best, um, the best mile that we're gonna have next to us. A Primark, literally 20 minutes from my house. Yes, please. 
Okay, so we've been shopping for a little bit and I am flagging. Um, it's currently like 3.30 p.m. I think and I need a coffee. So we're gonna go to Dunkin' Donuts it's because- It's 4.10. It's four o'clock. No, it's 10 to four. 10 to four. Um, yeah, the good thing about being in America is there's Dunkin' Donuts everywhere. So I'm gonna get myself a very sweet coffee. I love them so much. Okay, so we're at Dunkin' and these are the holiday, the holiday drinks. Cookie butter, peppermint mocha, white chocolate latte. Mmm. This is mine. That's a regular. I forgot how big it is. I need to ask for a small. What the hell? Guys, this. This is it. It's a original ice latte with a pump one pump of caramel swirl mm. cheers. cheers and it's in the christmas dunkin cup there's christmas music playing okay so we've just done our like shopping in the mall we didn't really buy anything actually i don't think we bought anything at all but now we're just going to pop in audi while we're over here because i love audi i have a whole video on doing a shop in audi which i'll link down below but i'm not going to film in here unless i find anything really cool and then i'll do a little haul when i get home okay so when we got back to canada we stopped off at walmart and i, I know some of you miss seeing what i get from the grocery store so we spent 110 dollars which is actually so good for what we got so i'll quickly go through it so we got fries and smileys 2.97 each jake got some jalapeno crisps and these um cheese puffs these are like three dollars and i think these are 2.97 and then we got this curry mix which is three dollars we got three lots of pasta and they are 127 each we got mayo mayo is really expensive it's four dollars and then we picked up three lots of Canadian stuffing because they're on sale for 87 cents. And um, we got some pita bread, I got some carrots, I got some English rich tea, these are $3. Got some crackers for my cheese. This is so expensive, this was $8, but it lasts us such a long time and I love it. We got mushrooms, mushrooms have gone up. They used to be like 127, they're now 297. I got British beans. And then we got one, two, three pasta sauces for six dollars. We got tin tomatoes for ninety-seven cents, so I picked up two. Two lots of peas, they're ninety-seven cents. Uh, two lots of corn, they're ninety-seven cents. Picked up Pringles, it was two for four dollars. I got barbecue and sour cream. I picked up a pot noodle. It was the last one on the shelf, so it was calling my name. But this was three dollars. I'm going to save this for one day. Picked up two uh, chicken noodles two beef noodles two vegetable noodles they're 47 cents each and then i picked up some razors so that's all of that and i also picked up also picked up uh seven up 12 cans pepsi 12 cans and canada dry 12 cans so i'm not gonna lie i think for 110 dollars we absolutely smashed it we bought so much stuff like we filled up all the tins all the pasta sauces curry uh freezer snacky food like i think we did so good and now i'm going to show you what we got from america now american prices have gone up when we first started going over it was actually cheaper to do our groceries over there but they have gone up slightly so we only pick up things that are like cheaper over there or things that we don't have in canada that we miss and they have it in america so just a little heads up that's why we go over to america to do our shopping so let me show you what we got from audi so we spent uh, $40 in uh, America, which is obviously American dollars. So we want to say about 60 Canadian. Um, so we picked up Capri Suns. These are like two something. We picked one up in every flavor. Also, um, peanut butter is cheaper over there. I think this was like $1 something. Um, Jake picked up these tea bags because he wanted to try them. Picked up cereal. Cereal is so cheap over there. I can't remember how much it was now. But this is my Cocoa Pops and my Sugar Puffs. Jake loves these biscuits. We picked up some of these. I think these are like $2. And then coffee th coffee pods are cheaper over there. So they're like $2 each. So we picked up three. Jake likes these cereal bars for a dollar. So we picked up two. And then cheese over there is crazy cheap. So um, we picked up this. This was $1.19. And then as you've seen, this was like $2 something. So I picked up two. The sale by day um, is really long and I'm doing a cheese board on New Year's Eve. So I've got one of those for New Year's Eve, one of those to open now. 
Then I picked up this hummus dip because oh, during Christmas it's just so nice to have dips in the fridge so when you get home from work you can have a drink and just dip away and then also some milk. So that is what we got for $40. So in total today we spent around $160 and it was for all of that all of that and also my cans of pop so i think we did so well like people always say that like cost of living is expensive in canada but i'm not gonna lie to you i when i went home in february i think some of the prices for things was so expensive for example like a tin of beans or whatever here or a tin of peas is 87 cents which is around like 50p so it's kind of like the same so for 160 dollars i think i did pretty well um obviously our gas and electrics are a lot cheaper so if the food is a little bit more then it's not the end of the world but yeah i'm gonna put this all away now um i think we've got about an hour until we're meeting up with our friends but i hope you guys enjoyed that um it was a bit of a jam-packed vlog there we did so much toronto and buffalo uh just to keep you updated with you guys um us me and Jake and our friends Jack and Kerry are going off to Toronto on the weekend. So I'll make sure I'll vlog all of that for you guys. My brother also arrives in 15 days, which is exciting. And we've got Christmas coming up. We've got New Year. We've got lots planned. So I hope you're all well. I hope you're all safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.